I'm going to show you in this little demonstration how to create a seamless repeat tile for textile design um, using Photoshop and using the offset uh, feature under filters uh, with the wraparound. So let's get started. Um, here is the image I will use and I go up to filters to other to offset and then I select wrap around and then I kind of slide the slider to the middle um, both horizontal and vertical. This shows me where the um, edges of the tile are going to be which are actually um, in the middle now. And so now I'm going to kind of fill up that middle section which are the outer edges of the tile so that when you repeat the tile well, right here I'm changing the fill to foreground color and I'm just going to make a series of circles in that middle area, uh, the white blank areas. Um, and again, what the offset uh, other wraparound feature does is it takes your image and it divides it into quarters and arranges them so that the actual outer edges of your image are at the middle and that way you can play around with the seams. The seams are now in the middle and I'm filling in that seam area um, so that it will not appear as blocky rectangle repeat pattern. So you'll see um, I'm still playing around with all the, the circles I want to put in there. Um, it may look a little odd. Your image now is broken up um, into different components uh, towards the outer edges of the image. But once you create um, this and repeat this into a tile, you will see how it's a seamless tile and that motif becomes one whole object again. So I think I'm just doing the last little circle here. Um, and let's see, I'm doing a, I actually have a channel um, if you look to the right bottom that I need to get rid of before I save it because uh, it will not save as a JPEG and here I am deleting that extra channel and now I'm going back to file save as and now I can save this Photoshop file as a JPEG file which is the required um, upload file format um, if I'm going to send it to a textile printer such as Spoonflower so now I have my um, image. I'm going to save it. And just to test it out to make sure it's seamless and see what it looks like, I'm going to go under Edit. And under Edit, there's a, a feature, uh, Create Pattern, uh, Define Pattern, rather. So now I'm going down to Define Pattern. I can name it. I just left it the same. And so now as a Define Pattern, I can open up a new, larger file. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a 300 dpi 8x7 file and I'm going to fill it. So I'm going to go up to fill and I'm going to change it from using foreground color to pattern. And I actually have a lot of images in my pattern folder. So I'm going to go to the very last one, which is the one I just created. And I'm going to click OK after I select it. And it's going to fill um, the whole image area with that newly created pattern. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful.